Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Bini Zamaku of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Um, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with this phrase, oracles of fear. That means prophetic utterances of fear, predictive utterances of fear, foretelling utterances of fear, and forth-telling utterances of fear. Now, um, in 1 Kings chapter 17, if you remember, uh, when God spoke to Elijah and told Elijah, Go to the widow of Zarephath, for there I have commanded the widow woman there to sustain you. Now look at what God said. God spoke to the woman and God said, I've already spoken to her. And these are clear instructions that I gave to her, that she should sustain you. As she should look after you in terms of your, 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 your food needs, your food requirements, your provisional requirements. She should make sure that she ministers to you. With, with, her substance, with her substance. She shouldn't just pray with you, or she didn't, but she should use her substance to minister to you. And uh, sometimes people will say, oh, I, I'm praying with you. When sometimes you need to minister substance to the person. And uh, so, uh, well, anyway, anyway. But here, here's the principle that is very, very interesting. God said to Elijah, I have commanded her. I have already spoken to her. I've given her clear-cut instructions. I've ordered her, and I've spoken to her, and we have agreed. That I have ordered her, I have asked her to sustain you. And then look at what the Bible says. The Bible says when Elijah got there and he asked the woman, can I get some food? Look at what she said. He said, hey, this food that I have is not, you know, it's not enough. And look at what she said. He said, even if we eat it, I'm just, we are just going to eat it. And when we eat it, we will die. He said, when we eat this food, we will die. So the woman said, listen, there's nothing, we are not looking forward towards anything, but towards death. And that was, that was a statement she made in the presence of the prophetic, in the presence of a prophetic moment, in, in a time zone of a prophetic moment, a prophetic time span, this is what she said. She spoke Oracles of fear, prophetic prediction, predictive statements of fear. We will die. When we eat, we will die. And guess what? Even in the midst of abundance, the Bible said when Elijah got there and said, Look, listen, you will not die. You will not die. But the cruise of oil will not fail, and the bread, the cake of bread will not fail. And Elijah then said, You will not die. Now, this woman had made a statement in a prophetic capsule. And Elijah stood in the same prophetic capsule, prophetic season and time zone, and said, no, you will not die. And in 1 Kings chapter 17, there's a very powerful story over there. The woman ministered to Elijah, but her son died. Her prophetic statement, her predictive statement, at a prophetic moment, what she opened her mouth to say in a moment of her fears, in, 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 when she's walking within her valley of fear, what she spoke, she spoke death. She invited death into her home and her son died. What she said, she did not die, but her son died. But I thank God for the Elijahs of our day who stood in the same prophetic time zone and who stood in the same prophetic uh, capsule and said, you will not die. So she prophesied death. She predicted death. She uttered a statement of death. She issued death. She, she, she spoke death by her fear. And Elijah stood in faith and spoke life. Oh, I speak life in your fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I speak, I speak faith. I speak you will not die. You will live. To declare the works of God. Be careful what you say in your moment of fear. Be careful what you say in your moment of doubt. Be careful what you say. Because the Bible said, this woman said, 
we will die. And so by her mouth, she invited death. The book of Job succinctly captures it. Job said, what I greatly feared has come upon me. So when you, when you release oracles of fear, they may come to pass. Because the Bible says death and life are in the power of a tongue. Jesus said, what I speak to you is, I, is, is like a stone. Those who fall upon it will be saved, but those upon whom it falls. So that same, out of the same oracle, out of the same orifice, uh, orifice, orifice of, 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 of counsel and wisdom of God, death and life flows. What's your choice? Are you going to operate your oracle, your, your, the power of your oracles in fear? Or you're going to operate it in faith? I choose to stand in faith. I'm confronted by the same warfare that you may be confronted with, or maybe even more. Maybe less. Yeah. But guess what? I choose to stand in faith. I choose to, I choose to prophesy. I choose to utter oracles of life. I choose to speak oracles of prosperity. I choose to say it. I will leave. I choose to say it. I will not die. I choose to say it. I choose to say it. Well, it's also your choice to operate with your oracles of fear. But I will choose to operate with my oracles of, of life. It's your choice. See you later.